Everything we thought we knew about the origin of the universe might be nothing but an illusion. When humanity's new eye turned toward the depths of space, it didn't find what scientists expected. Instead of a newborn, chaotic universe shrouded in the fog of emerging matter, it saw order, structures, mature galaxies, stars, and black holes that shouldn't have existed so early, unless everything we knew about the Big Bang was wrong. Maybe time doesn't flow the way we believed. Maybe the universe has no beginning. Or maybe the end has already happened. While some cling to old formulas, others are redrawing the map of the cosmos from scratch. So what did we truly see in those ancient rays of light? Subscribe and leave a like if you're ready to journey beyond conventional science. At the end of 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope recorded an extremely unusual phenomenon. Galaxies with unexpectedly developed structures and a large number of stars were discovered in the early universe. These objects appeared too mature for their age and did not fit into existing models of what the universe should have looked like shortly after the Big Bang. Then, in May 2024, Webb looked even deeper into space and discovered two early galaxies that formed just 300 million years after the beginning of the universe's expansion. The mass and maturity of these galaxies far exceeded the values predicted by scientists for such an early stage in its history, calling into question existing models of cosmic structure formation and evolution. The telescope, located one and a half million kilometers from Earth, was specifically designed to explore the most distant regions of space. The farther an object is, the longer its light takes to reach us, and therefore, the deeper into the past we look. One of James Webb's main objectives was to detect the boundary of the Dark Ages, a time when the universe cooled down so much that it stopped emitting light. This state of matter was almost completely homogeneous and dark, and it was during this period that the first density fluctuations should have arisen due to gravitational instability. Over time, matter began to cluster in these denser regions, leading to the formation of stars and galaxies. Gradually, the universe transitioned from a homogeneous state to a structure where the first cosmic objects started to appear. However, Observations from the telescope showed that already 250 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, fully formed galaxies with stars and even giant black holes at their centers were present in the universe. This sparked serious debate in the scientific community. According to current understanding, black holes should have formed later from the remnants of dead stars. Some researchers even questioned the validity of existing cosmological models. Despite this, the Big Bang theory itself cannot be overturned. It is supported by numerous precise observations and calculations, especially concerning the first seconds and minutes of the universe's existence and its chemical composition. Could primordial black holes, fragments of the universe that failed to expand, be the key to unlocking the mysteries of its earliest stages? The essence of this approach is that immediately after the Big Bang, in certain regions of the universe, Matter was so dense that gravity halted their expansion, and primordial black holes formed there almost instantaneously. Millions of solar masses just 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, using existing models, remains unsuccessful. According to standard theories, such objects should form gradually through the collapse of massive stars, followed by subsequent accretion growth. However, such a short time frame and the observed sizes cast doubt on the possibility of such rapid development within the conventional cosmological framework. Against this backdrop, an alternative hypothesis emerges, suggesting that some black holes might have been born already gigantic. The essence of this approach is that immediately after the Big Bang, in certain regions of the universe, matter was so dense that gravity halted their expansion and primordial black holes formed there almost instantaneously. These frozen patches of space did not manage to expand along with the rest of the universe. For a long time, this idea remained speculative, lacking observational evidence. However, data obtained by the James Webb Telescope provided the first hints that such objects could indeed exist. 
The presence of such massive black holes in an extremely young universe brings renewed attention to the hypothesis of their primordial origin. This does not mean that the alternative, gradual growth of black holes, is entirely ruled out. Currently, there is an active debate within the scientific community. Supporters exist for both approaches, and neither has yet received definitive confirmation. Some researchers remain skeptical about the reality of primordial black holes, pointing to difficulties in mathematically describing their formation. Modern theories still cannot adequately explain the mechanisms of their birth at a level required to recognize them as part of the standard cosmological model. Nevertheless, the very possibility of their existence, supported by new astronomical data, opens an important avenue for research. Regardless of which hypothesis ultimately proves correct, the scientific community now has exceptional material capable of changing our understanding of the early universe. In the coming years, physicists and astrophysicists will intensively process the data, refining key elements of models, and it is quite possible this will lead to a qualitative leap in comprehending the processes that shape the cosmos. But what if the universe is not at all what we imagine it to be? Does dark matter really exist? Or is it simply an error in the equations? What if time is not a flow, but an illusion? The universe has long remained a mystery, but the hypothesis proposed by Professor Rajendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa could change our understanding of its structure. He suggests that dark matter and dark energy are not necessary to explain the behavior of the universe. His model combines the ideas of varying physical constants and the tired light theory, according to which light loses energy over distance rather than due to the expansion of the universe. This provides an alternative to the conventional cosmological model. For decades, scientists considered dark matter essential to explain various cosmic phenomena. As early as the 1930s, Fritz Zwicky discovered that the behavior of galaxies within clusters did not correspond to their visible mass. It was hypothesized that an invisible substance exerted gravitational influence. Subsequently, numerous observations, such as anomalous galaxy rotation curves and gravitational lensing, were interpreted as evidence supporting the existence of dark matter. It was regarded as a kind of invisible glue holding galaxies together, providing them stability and explaining the distribution of light in space. However, according to Gupta, New models call this concept into question. His calculations, in particular, indicate that the age of the universe may not be 13.8 billion years as commonly accepted, but rather 26.7 billion years. This also questions the need for dark energy, traditionally introduced to explain the accelerating expansion of the cosmos. Gupta believes that this expansion may be linked not to a hypothetical form of energy, but to changes in the strength of fundamental interactions over time. He actively uses observations of redshifts, both nearby and distant, to support his conclusions. According to him, this is the first theory he knows of that excludes the need for dark matter while remaining consistent with confirmed observations. If Gupta's hypothesis is confirmed, it could change our understanding of the cosmic microwave background galaxy formation, and even lead to a revision of the Big Bang theory. However, critics emphasize that the new model must provide testable predictions. Perhaps dark matter and dark energy are simply attempts to fit data into the established theory. Scientists continue to seek evidence by analyzing cosmic radiation and new data from telescopes, hoping to clarify the nature of the universe. In this context, the question also arises about other key cosmological theories, such as inflation theory, proposed over 40 years ago. Its main idea is that almost immediately after the Big Bang, during a tiny fraction of a second, the universe underwent a sharp expansion caused by a temporary change in gravity. This could explain its homogeneity. However, the model is often criticized as unfalsifiable. Despite support from the cosmic microwave background maps by the COBE satellite and the discovery of accelerated expansion in the 1990s, direct evidence is lacking.
Even the 2014 claim of detecting gravitational waves possibly linked to inflation requires verification by other observatories. All this highlights the importance of so-called thought experiments, which play a notable role in the development of theoretical physics. Einstein used them to create the theory of relativity, Maxwell to critique thermodynamics, and Schrödinger to reveal paradoxes of quantum mechanics. Their power lies in the ability to push the boundaries of thought, where physical experiments are impossible. The thought experiment by Kaslav Bruckner at the University of Vienna touched on the very nature of time, questioning its linearity. Based on quantum theory and measurement limits set by the uncertainty principle, his team concluded that the order of events may not be as unambiguous as assumed in classical physics. These ideas have been discussed in prestigious scientific publications. Such a re-evaluation of fundamental concepts, from time and matter to the very origin of the universe, suggests that science stands on the brink of a revolution. Perhaps a revision of key cosmological models awaits us, or maybe just a more subtle understanding of them. What if the universe has already lived through thousands of lives before ours? If traces of previous universes truly exist in the cosmic background, is it possible that the very fabric of reality is whispering a truth we are not yet able to decipher? The cyclic model of the universe offers a different perspective on the origin and fate of the cosmos. According to this theory, the universe did not emerge from nothing as a result of a single Big Bang, but instead exists in an eternal rhythm of repeating cycles. Expansion, deceleration, contraction, a new Big Bang, and everything starts over. In this approach, space and time are eternal and existed long before the birth of our current universe. We are currently in an expansion phase, but within this model, it is not infinite. Over time, gravity will halt this expansion, and the universe will begin to contract. Eventually, it will collapse to microscopic scales, and a new explosion will initiate the next universe. This reset involves not only matter and energy, but also the very structure of time itself. Scientists are attracted to this idea for several reasons. First and foremost, it avoids the question of what was before the beginning of time, because there was no beginning of time as such. It is infinite. The model also offers an explanation for the low entropy of the early universe, suggesting that entropy is reset with each new cycle. This in turn resonates with string theory, one of the candidates for a unified theory of everything. Finally, the role of dark energy in the cyclic model is described more clearly. It does not merely inflate space, but could be the mechanism that triggers the contraction phase. Nevertheless, the theory has serious gaps. The main one is the lack of direct evidence. While some suggest that traces of previous cycles might be found in the cosmic microwave background radiation, this remains hypothetical for now. Skeptics also point out that the model is overly complex and relies on many unconfirmed assumptions. The question of entropy is especially problematic. How can it be reset when the second law of thermodynamics states the opposite? To date, the cyclic model remains only a theoretical alternative to the Big Bang theory. It is elegant, logically consistent, and provides explanations where other theories are silent. But without experimental confirmation, it cannot claim a leading position in cosmology. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. There is still much more fascinating about the universe and its mysteries ahead.